I got my peaches down in Georgia. Oh my yeah, God. he did. <laughs> <laughs> he was a beard. That guy's welcome to besties. Oh, right. I was recording. We missed you. We o- this episode almost didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to explain that? It's just that like, I'm like leaving next week uh-huh. for school. And then also I'm on finals week this week. So I was like, there's too many things going on. So I thought I wasn't going to be able to, but like this past weekend, I popped the fuck off. Yeah. I like did a lot of work and I'm like ahead by like three days. Well, now too, because I'm not doing anything today. But it's because I wanted to finish my finals early and then be free, young and free. Young and wild and free. Yeah. So, so what? We get drunk. It's fine. I'll probably finish by Friday. So you said period. I hope. Because it's because I'm not a good essay writer. Um, That's where I'm like, I wanted more time to. How like, many essays do you have to write? It's like two. Two little ones. Oh, so you said very. And two other ones. But I don't count the other ones. Because? It's just like, they're talking about me. And when they said like about me, I'm an expert. So like, I don't have to research. And then the other one needs like quotes. It like needs like, it works. That's true. It doesn't count. Yeah. So exactly. So you got your peaches on the door. Yeah. Here. Also, a side note, like before anything. I like got so I ha- we have like our watches, you know. There's like this yeah. thing that you can activate it, so it can tell you how long you're supposed to wash your hands. I did not know I was washing my hands for like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like this bitch, I mean, this thing tells you to like wash it for like twenty seconds. Yeah. So I'm just like waiting, like yeah. washing it. So my like, hands have been like really clean the past few days. Why did you remember that? Because I was washing my hands right now. Oh, for twenty seconds. Yeah. So you're Apple Watch. So period. L- let us no down below or wherever like if for how long yeah or how long like because i honestly thought i was popping off but i wasn't <laughs> i definitely don't wash them for 20 seconds yeah i didn't before i think maybe like three y- yeah actually that's not true because i'm like, getting in every crack and no i'm pretty sure i was doing it like for five seconds because i'm like waiting like and the 20 seconds seem eternal maybe I d- maybe i did like eight because i don't I d- i'm definitely not doing 20 seconds yeah i was not I'm pretty sure I was doing fire. So we said fair. Okay, also, if you... Okay, so our vibe today is, like, 70s. Which Why? I'm not sure. I just... I did my makeup. It was pink eyeshadow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I was like, wait, I don't have anything that matches. And then I remember I stole this cardigan from my mom. Period. But... Uh, it's yeah. like a vest. Like, um, like, corduroy, like... Yeah. Um, Let's explain where our outfits are from, because people okay. always want to know. I'm glad, yeah. Oh, oh, out, out, t- out, t- t- so, this outfit, like, reminds me of Marley's... So like I had to wear this this um what's this thing called ring a ring crazy yeah. sorry a ring that Marlies made me and then yeah we're in this vest it's from my mom's closet I'm pretty sure she either thrifted it or like found it at the swap me or something so she's a beard but like oh I don't it's know. not like I thought it was like hers like 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 from like from like when she was like I younger. actually like have no idea oh like, you to just be took completely it? Sh- like. Like it looks vintage. Like it, it looks really vintage. I'll check the tag after. But yeah, and then this white shirt from the bins. It was probably like five cents because you bins. know you buy it by pound. Yeah. The jeans are from American Eagle. They're the I think they're like the girlfriend jeans. They're really good. You should get these if you have no curves like me and a flat ass. Like they make Rad. you look really good. Then I'm wearing these socks that my daddy bought me. Hmm. And these socks are from Amazon. And I think that's it. Oh wait. This is from Shane. Uh, uh, yeah. So you said we don't talk. Oh, and the earrings are from Amazon, too. So, yeah. So you said period. I feel really energetic. Yeah, that's like never. I just ate like a granola bar right now. <laughs> you said period. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think the reason I don't feel energetic is because we were, we're, oh, well, we're still going to, because I've been waiting for it all day. Okay. We're going to go get Veggie Girl later. So Veggie Girl is a vegan restaurant. Yeah. It's kind of like fast food, but like also a restaurant. They have like healthier But it's not as versions. fast food as like plant power. No. I'd say it's more like... Um, People don't know what plant power is. Oh, plant power is full like vegan fast food. like it's Greasy have, and everything. Yeah, they have knockoffs of like... The Big the Mac. The In-N-Out Burger, the Big Mac, um, the Chick-fil-A sandwich. Is that what it, it has pickles, so I think that's I what think it's supposed so. to be. They have like vegan versions of all of those but they're called like other things it's my one of my favorite restaurants i literally have a sticker of it on my phone because i love it anyways so what was it called veggie girl is kind of like a restaurant it's like the cheesecake factory for vegans yeah low-key but better definitely better but they don't have bread I, yeah yeah i was gonna say they don't <laughs> have free so bread slow. honestly like veggie girl get some free bread or tortilla yeah. chips yeah with salsita we I'm love. so hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, and then I have my little coffee, so I was like, whatever. That'll give me enough energy to survive. Yeah. 
What were we doing? Oh, oh, OTD. Okay, this I got <laughs> from the bins. We're the bins queens. No, queens. We, we are the bin queens. I don't know if we want to be the bins queens, but so I got this from the bins. It's like it's like one of the nicest things. I it own. looks so nice. It's like a vintage. I don't know. Can you see the tag on it? No, it's like too far. I'm totally lazy. It's like p- like vintage, vintage, like with the whole like um, narcos. <laughs> and I can say that I'm Colombian. So it's, it's like, like on your brand. It's like your brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to dress. You know how people like people in like Spain and Colombia, like th- two very different. Like, pl- I don't know why I put those I together. I think Cuba, like the Cuban Cubans. Shirts. Yeah, in like the seventies and eighties. Yeah. That's what I wish I dressed like. Okay. Like, oh, does he sell cocaine? Maybe. Oh, we love that. Yeah. Um. Okay, <laughs> so that's what that. the, the shirt's from. This um undershirt is from H and M. These are from. Oh, also the bins. Oh, we love. I that. I found such good things at the bins. These are like high waisted, um, like brown. What are these called? Bell bottoms? Yeah. Um, and I love these pants. <laughs> this is a really good outfit. We're going to have a photo shoot at Veggie Grill. <laughs> <laughs> no, the playground that's right outside of Veggie Grill. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's our o- OTD of the day. Okay, let me pull up my phone. My phone's, like, about to die. So I said period. Oh, first we're going to do the... My tears ricochet. Why is... Okay. Oh, wait, just kidding. Me skipping the entire yeah. section. So... We sorry, right sorry. Now? No, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So follow us on TikTok at Besties Podcast. Also subscribe to us on YouTube at hashtag TV. You can also listen to us on Spotify, Anchor, and more. And follow us on Insta at hashtag TV Official and at not Daniel Pena and at Grecia Correa with a K. You Thank li- you. You literally said period. This time, I like it was kind of good. It was like really official. Yeah. If you guys like listen to the last one i did and saw a difference like comment down below <laughs> or don't I do, I love. okay so now we're gonna do before we do everything um we're gonna take a fun little quiz that i saw so it's i don't know if you guys have seen those Are like, you gonna charts. send that too yeah i'll send you the link right now okay i don't know if you guys have but it's we might have different questions so we'll just go like person by because i'm not sure how this works but okay. um so it's the moral alignment test so i don't know if you guys have seen those like charts and it's like Good, lawful, evil, and chaotic, and then the combination. So, like, chaotic, good, um, lawful, evil, and, like, that kind of things. And no. they'll do it with, like, TV show characters. You've never seen it? I don't even know what we're taking. <laughs> Great. Let me show oh, you. Oh, it, it describes a person's more unethical Hold on. Moral outlook. alignment, strange things, for example. Actually, let's do Star Wars. Oh, wait. What do you like? Wait, what? What do you like? Give me a TV show. We're going to do Stranger Things. I already have it typed. Okay. So, see this? Okay. So, they have... All the different combinations. So lawful good, eleven. My, the kids lawful neutral Barb because okay. she's like not good and not evil. She's just there. Okay. And then lawful evil is like the dad because like he's evil but like not in like a super evil way. So then we have neutral good, the the girly and the brother because they're like good but they're also like you know they'll do what they have to do. The true neutral I don't even know who that is. So it was the Chris. No, it was the guy that drank the Slurpees. Oh, yeah, Alex, Alexi. Alex. I okay, fair enough. That was close, right? And then neutral evil, whoever these people are. Yeah. Don't know. And then chaotic good, Hopper. Okay. Right? Chaotic neutral, Um, forgot what that guy's name is. Steve. Steve. And then chaotic evil, the Demogorgon. So we're going to find out where on this chart we are. Okay. I, let's guess. I Grace gonna is going to be chaotic evil. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I was thinking chaotic neutral. N- um, Wait. Because I am kind of evil. Well, not evil. I think... I think you're like... Because you always say I'm mischievous. And I do like see that a lot. I think you're chaotic neutral. Yeah. What do you think I am? I already forgot all the options. (laughs) There are the options. (laughs) Great. There are 30 seconds. What does lawful mean? Like the... Like good. Like, um... I don't know how to describe lawful. (laughs) I'm just silence. (laughs) I don't know. True neutral. Okay. So I'm boring. No, but you're, you can like Re- calm everyone calm down. Calm everything. I don't know. You're just like a little bit of everything. And for me, it's just like I'm too much sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's fine. Okay, time to take the t- quiz. Okay, I don't know. Pull up the quiz on your phone. I don't know. You send there. But I, okay. Oh yeah, you did. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if the first questions are the same. What's your first question? I do not feel guilty when I hurt. I have her. a completely different question. Oh, fuck. Should we just take it quietly, or should we read them out loud? I feel like that would take forever. So should we... Um, what do we do? Should we like... Okay, guys, quick break. We're going to take the quiz really quickly. Okay, okay. hold on. 
I'm gonna sing you guys a little song. Once upon a time, I believe it was a yeah. Thursday mm-hmm. when I crossed. <laughs> I'm not as obsessed over this when someone dies. Aren't this question scary? Yeah. Oh my god. Let me bring in the microphone. I look into your eyes. Look me in the eyes and tell me you. Why are you just kidding? Because it seems to me this thing is breaking down. I I trick and calm people. One more. Has it gone in there? Feels so low. You can't be on something that I'll get you flash back to when he is it forever and away. Okay. Welcome back. You got um, your answer? Yeah. I was not expecting this answer. Okay, I'm kind of sad. Uh, did you not get chaotic? No. That's good, Gracia. That means you're not the Demogorgon. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, I got 72% good, 32%. 30.8% lawful, making me neutral good. Where'd you get those numbers? They're right there. Gracie, it's directly <laughs> it's directly under the chart. No, go back up. Go back up. It's right there. That's one sentence. Under Wait, there. what was yours again? 72.5% good, 30.8% lawful. I can read it. It didn't like tell me like this. Is you're tied between evil and good. 30.8% lawful, making you a true neutral. So you said period. I thought I was evil, like, from some of the answers I put. I guess you're not. Oh. That's good. Oh. You'd be disappointed you're not evil. I, it's because I honestly don't see myself as a good person. <laughs> so, like, I'm, whenever I tell people, they're like, you're not, like, a bad person. I'm like, yes, I am. You're not a bad person. You're just, like, um. I don't. Scary. Like, like, I, like you just do, uh. sometimes you just do things where I'm like, you're literally out of control right now. I love that. But I yell at you, so it's fine. I think I felt off. Yeah, you did. Anyways, that was our fun little quiz. I hope you guys had a great time. <laughs> okay, so next we have our little My Tears Are Exchange. the whole song <laughs> <laughs> okay gracie what did your tears look shape for oh i was on tiktok the other day like a few days is it what you sent the besties one yeah so okay, I, wouldn't forget. I was i don't know I don't, something was wrong with me that day probably i saw this tiktok of this like guy that like won, won a gold medal at the olympics it, it was for like weightlifting i'm pretty sure everyone saw the clip yeah for some reason gracie, that one didn't make me cry and I, I, I that's what I'm saying. There was something wrong with me. It was like a split screen, like the real actual competition. <laughs> the animation, the- <laughs> that was what made me sad. Because like, he was like, <laughs> what's his name? I have no idea, but he was, he was um, like a, I'll look it up. a weightlifter. Oh, wait, I have it on the besties um, no, thing. You know it. But yeah, he was like lifting the weights. And you say that name right now. And like his, he, so he had promised to his <laughs> dead wife. Sorry, sorry. It's that like, if. That he was gonna win him gold medal, yeah. and like when he did it, like it was such a proud moment. Like you can see the happiness in his face, and like the thrill and everything. But like on the little drawing that they did of it, it was like a little cartoon animation. Mm-hmm. Um, the wife is like behind him, like helping As him. As a like, ghost. Yeah, no. <laughs> and she was like, "Oh." His stop, name stop, is. Stop. It literally doesn't even say. Stop. No, no one says. Oh, his wife died in a car accident. Yeah. I don't know. The animation really... I think because I like cartoons. I don't know if that made anything. Maybe. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't cry because it was a cartoon. No, it really got me. I love cartoons. There's literally no one has said his name. Oh. And I'm scrolling through the comments. It is a depressing video, though. Yeah. And she's so cute with her little ghosty, like, glitter. So, yeah, that made me cry. And then also something else made me cry today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, not... I was like, Did you cry at the dentist? No. No. I oh, like. I sobbed in mine. <laughs> no, I was just like, I was like changing today, and then I put on a dress that did not fit me for like the longest time, mm-hmm. and then it fit me. I was like, oh, 
period but mm. then i was like it looks cute and i was like wait it looks weird on the top and then i was like i realized it looked weird because like my boobs got really small and that like made me really sad Gracia, i thought you were gonna say you got emotional because a dress fine like oh yeah i was yelling i was screaming but you cried because your boobs are smaller yeah i'm pretty sure my boobs got like two sizes smaller what if you have if you do you have like your old bras or not anymore i never wore bras <laughs> no from like years ago you don't have no. any no oh I was they were like about. they were probably like a size c or d mm. and did now, you go to target and try them on i'm pretty sure like my boots are. are like a size a or something or b okay. so it was really sad um because i was known as like the big titty girl not anymore who called uh, n- Oh, in middle school when my boobs were big. Oh, I was like, girl, I don't want to school through that. Yeah. You said period. It was sad. So now you can be what? Itty. Bitty. Wait, what's it called? Itty. Itty bitty titty. Itty bitty titty committee? Yeah. Yeah, well, they're not extremely small, but like. Guys, comment down below if you like Grace. <laughs> no, kidding. don't. Don't comment down. <laughs> like, I'm going to like. Blocking on the myself. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I read those. <laughs> no, like it's not. I'm not saying like I have absolutely small boobs, but like compared to what I had before, well, it was yeah. shocking. Yeah, because like when you're like losing weight, it like it, it like lo- it like leaves in the pl- the weirdest places. Yeah. Like I feel like like okay, I feel like my face was like the first place where I lost more weight. Yeah, me too. Like I lost a couple chins. Yeah, yeah, you but, lost like, a couple my too. My belly does not want to leave. Mine did go down a lot, but still, like, pretty Yeah, same. Mine goes on. Like, I can wear, like, this stuff now, and I don't feel like... Mm -hmm. Like, I used to not wear, like, stuff with a shirt open because I didn't want the wind to blow on me and, like, outline my body. Now I don't even care. (laughs) Like, in New York, like, when I had that one green thing, I didn't realize everyone could fully see everything inside my shirt. At least that she saw my titties, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Um, You said free the nipple. I did, but... Okay. (laughs) 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 But, yeah, like, so you popped off, I think. Yeah. It's, it's like, just, yeah. I don't know. It's like you, you want to like the weight off in some places and you want it like to stay there yeah. and some. So that's why I was like, sad. I wish you could pick. Yeah. Anyways, so you said weird. Yeah, those were the Those two were things. good reasons. Uh-huh. Mine are stupid. My first one was. Oh, actually, mine are actually good. Well, okay, the first one was last night. I was watching this TV show. I'm not going to say what it was because I don't want to spoil anything. I can tell you later, but. Uh-huh. Um, so it was this one TV show. It's one of my favorite TV shows. And it's like. <clears throat> It's lasted, a, it's like only like a couple seasons, but I feel like it's taken forever to come out because mm-hmm. they'll do like half a season by half a season. Like, so it's been around for like four or five years. <clears throat> I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. I'll tell you. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you care if I spoil it? I don't care. I don't okay. think I'm going to watch. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Um, and so I was just watching it and they, the a part of the season just came out and like, I was like a couple episodes about to finish mm-hmm. and I was like, I think they're setting up that they're going to kill the main character. Oh. But I was like, they would not do that. Cause like, why would they do that? And then like a couple like episodes like pass and they're like setting things up where like, they'll like she had a conversation with another character about like, what do you think happens when we, I was like, Oh my God, they're going to kill this character. And then in the last episode, they kill that character. And I was not okay. I was literally, but also it was like 2 a.m. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 did that hurt? No. It sounded like a big juicy thump. Was it on the corner? Yeah. So you said for your Sure. Okay. <laughs> um so I was in my bed at two AM um because I just had to finish it and I was like, I just need to like get it over with. And then um it was just really depressing. Was he like your but favorite I was, like, character? Sobbing. No, but I just really like that character. Okay. Like I like when characters are like kind of like like, they're not, like, goody two-shoes. Like, they're just, like, they're kind of, like, a little oh, yeah. bit not okay. But, like, that's why you like them. Mm-hmm. And also, it was the main character that we've seen for so long. And yeah. then seeing all the characters react, I was like, I'm going to literally die right now. And yeah. then I had to go to sleep. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm going right to listen to folklore and cry. Oh. <laughs> no, I couldn't go right away because I was like, if I... That type of night, Jania. It's always... It's literally that type of the night, like, twice a week. That's really Maybe scary. more. And then my other one is actually really sad. So, but this one that it happened last night, I was fully sobbing. Like I, like out of all the my tears ricochet, this one they really were ricocheting. Like I was like, I have to be quiet because my family's gonna hear. Yeah. <laughs> so I said period. My other one is okay. Do you remember Blue's Clues? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the? Did you ever watch it like growing up? Yeah. Okay. 
So do you remember the main guy? Like his name was Steve. Steve, yeah. And then like at some point he like left. Yeah, because he was balding. Yeah, and like King of balding. They said he went off to college or whatever. So I guess this year is the Blues Clues 25th anniversary. Mm-hmm. And like a couple of days ago, they released like a thing where it was like all the main guys. So it was like the Steve, the other one, and then the current one. And they made a little video together. Is one of them hot, or did I imagine that? No, you didn't imagine that. You, that it's the newest one, right? Um, I don't remember. Oh. But I do remember sending it to you. Okay, anyways. So, today they posted a thing called, So About That Time Steve Went Out to College. And it's this little video of him. Do you remember how, when we were younger... I'm not going to play it right now, because it'll start right. But basically, he's like, he's like, saying like, how that it was quick, and like, whatever. Hold on. Wait, that's getting me depressed. Wait. I'm literally tearing up. Actually, he's hot. Great. <laughs> <laughs> he's low-key a dope. Wait. Oh my God, where's the part that made me start crying? It's like crazy how like we grew up with him. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, I'm tearing up. I'm literally crying, guys. Like we grew up with him. Now he's talking about college and it's something that we're just like going through. Yeah. No, but listen to this part. He says, wait, he says. What the hell? Was crying. I literally was crying. Oof, me the? crying every week now. Okay, but also it's because didn't he have cancer? No, he was just balding. Was <laughs> oh, <he>? really? <laughs> but then I think I was crying for no reason. Wait, I thought he was balding because he was old. So he's like, I'm like getting too old to like for kids to see me going through that on screen. So he resigned, like he or whatever it's called. He quit. Wait, did I literally hallucinate an entire <laughs> b- cancer thing? Probably, or maybe I'm, I'm the one not remembering. I literally think I imagined that. So that's that. why you were crying? I was just crying because he was like, he was like, I never forgot. Oh, I thought because you thought he had cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. But I guess if he doesn't, it's not that sad. Well, it's still sad. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I hate this segment. We're literally going to cut this segment. I just end up crying every time. We need to do like my tears didn't you No, know, it's good because you're like taking down the stigma that men don't cry. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Yeah. Right? Yeah, sure. And because you're like <laughs> letting like and the boy every week. No, and you're letting the boilies know that it's fine. Like there, it, there it, are no boily viewers. I thought there was like two. Oh, maybe. Okay, to the two boily. If there's two boily viewers, I feel like they cry. Yeah. If they listen to this podcast, you guys cry. So you guys <laughs> are period. Let me know if you guys want to cry together on Facetime. Yeah. About we can things. have a crying party. That's so fun. That's kind of scary. That sounds like out. a cult. You know, like, or, like, church, those scary churches no, that, like, every, that. sorry. Do you know the live streams? Have you seen the live streams on TikTok? Yeah. Where they're, like, they're, yeah, like, they're exercising them? <laughs> so that's really scary. Sorry. <laughs> I watched them for, like, 30 minutes the other day. Sometimes I watch them, too. It's because that's isn't it kind no, of I fun? Can't like, watch, I kind of want to do it. I can't watch more than two minutes. I always skip them because I get scared. Oh, scary. I literally watched, like, 30 It's because, like, they throw their bodies around, and, like, I want to throw my body around. Like I that. don't. Like, I really want them to do that to I'm me. sorry, but that's a cult. Oh, it is. I still want to do it. Speaking of cults Oh wait just kidding First we have to do Our pop offer of the week Then I'll get to the Speaking of cults Oh okay Who's your pop offer of the week uh, I'm gonna say my parents Okay They're popping off Cause like I'm going off to college mm-hmm. And like They're just like helping me Like get s- ev- Like all my things No, I'm not saying They're popping off Cause they're buying me things But like They're like helping me Organize my life Cause there's like Things I can't like Think of Cause mm-hmm. I've never had A house of my own Or I don't know I only like Take care of my room And stuff So like if it's something from the house, like, I won't remember. So you period. And my mom, like, reminds me and, like, I don't know. They're, like, just with me mentally and economically helping me. Totally <laughs> so I think they popped off. They're you good know, parents. So. All right. That's so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Dad, if you're watching this. I don't know if you watch. Sometimes he doesn't, like, fully watch them. <laughs> Sometimes he just l- lets them run. As so, soon like, as he sees me start crying, he's like, okay, time to stop <laughs> watching. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> No, he just like lets them run so we can get like views. As he That's says. cute. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say something. How do you feel about your roommates so far? <laughs> what if they watch this? They're not. I'm kind of scared. Oh, we'll just say the positives. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, never mind. Never mind. Okay, they're like all Latinas. Okay. So I feel like at home, you know, like I yeah. feel like I'm with my ra- with la raza, you oh know. Oh my god, I were gonna say rata, so I was like. <laughs> also with that. Uh, okay, yeah. period. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, like, I just feel better with, like, Latinx yeah. people. Because if I was, like, in a room full of, like, whiteies, whiteies it low-key kind of scary. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't know what their views are. I don't are. think I ever had a white roommate. Yeah. I'm just scared of having bossy. Of what? Of, of having bossy, like, roommates. You're gonna have a bossy roommate. I feel like there's some, like, 
already. Yeah, and I'm so excited because Grace is literally asking for it. Yeah, it's because like it was either me living somewhere else, but I wouldn't meet people. Boring. Don't do that. Yeah, so I was like, it's okay if I don't like them. It's it's a quarter system. It goes by yeah. faster if I don't like it. I'm um, like getting the hell out of there. And if I like some of them, I can like rent some yeah. something else with them at some After, point. Yeah. So it's fine. <laughs> Grace is asking for. It. I'm so excited for someone to like. <laughs> be mean to Grace, yeah. <laughs> it's because I feel like, like you, like when you have a mean roommate, it like humbles you. I'm, a, I've been already one humble just by living. <laughs> <laughs> no, not recently. I feel like since we've been like in the pandemic, like we need to be humbled. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. I think I've been humbled like recently. I just can't remember. Who humbled you? I go on Omega and I get humbled in two point two seconds. Honey. That's why we don't go on Omega anymore, guys. Uh, yeah, because they humble us a little too much. Yeah, like that's not humbling. That's like I'm one to die right now. It's like, yeah. Okay. Anyways, was your pop popper? It was pop nothing that like crazy. It was just our Hollywood. It's their when you're there, our one year anniversary today. So I guess happy birthday. yesterday. Thank you so much. Wait, didn't you take that picture like two? Weeks ago? Yeah, because we recorded that episode two weeks ago, so then we were like, let's just do it now. Oh, really? I look so bad in that picture. <laughs> we took it, we had like a little photo shoot with a cookie cake for the birthday. It looks so good. It looks good? It looked good. Oh, I thought you meant the picture. Oh, you mean the cake. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, <laughs> our Hollywood and one year anniversary. I think we said period. You did. Yeah. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. Congrats. Who's your small business of the week? Do you have one? How are you looking down on your body? Mm. Her small business is a really underground company. It's called Sheen. They have super affordable I hate you. I hope you shook. <laughs> Wait, it's because I'm not wearing anything that I can talk about. Marlies is a small business. Yeah, Marlies I was going to say that, but <laughs> <laughs> she. Doesn't I could say, like, your sticker that I bought you. I just don't remember the shop name. I can check on. Oh, the. the okay, I'll do mine while you look for it. Okay. Okay, so mine is actually American Vinyl Company. So basically what this website is, <clears throat> it's basically to make custom vinyls um, so you can make like single ones, right? So for our friend Karina's birthday, we wanted to make her like a, a custom record that has like pictures of us and like our, our like car playlists basically or like important songs to our like group. And so you can design the front cover, you can design the back cover, you can design like the stickers on the pre- on the pressing of the record. Um and I just thought it came out really good. Um, she listened to it and she said it sounded really good. Like I put like it looked really professional. Yeah, it did. And like you can put like um, songs that so like for example I put um, the cover of Juice by Harry Styles with Lizzo, like the one they did like live that one time. I like edited it and put it on the record because like that's never gonna be on a record. So I was like, okay, let's put it on here so that she can listen to it. And it turned out really good. So like, and they also do like singles, like seven inch pressing. So like, if there's like one song that you're like, they're never gonna make this, you can put it on there. I kind of wanted to do the folklore, like the Disney Plus one. Oh yeah, but I she feel needs like to release, release it. it. Yeah, I feel like she will. She better. She loves money. She probably listens to. She's listening to this. Yeah, she Taylor, loves money, and we love it? giving it to her. Yeah. So it's okay. Okay, who's your? I mean, what's the small business? Oh well, you can show them. I don't okay, know I'll put I'll put it on our Instagram. But it's a little sticker, and it's Harry Styles and Taylor Swift driving a little red. I mean, a red, a little yellow car. I always imagine a red car. Me too. And there's but it's because the blood spatter wouldn't show. Oh, that's true. Um, and there's like a blood stain on the front. Because nobody, no crime. Yeah, but basically, you know, there's there's like a conspiracy theory that Taylor Swift and Harry Styles killed someone. And I honestly believe it. I wish it was me. I wish they had covered up my death. <laughs> that would have been so iconic. That would have. And like they didn't even need to tell anyone. Just knowing, like my last glimpse would have been of those two white people, <laughs> and I would have liked it. That's so many emotions. Yeah, I would have been like up here. Well, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, what's the shop that it's from? It's called. It's on Etsy, and they're called Cult PP. Grace, <laughs> is that really the name? Like C U L T P P. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. Cult PP. Yeah, and they have like stickers, and they have like home. Made earrings. I kind of want this on a shirt. Handmade, yeah. So I is think that's scary to wear them. on that on a shirt. Yeah, it is too okay. much. Actually, yeah, I'm wearing to the Harry Styles concert. The other day, <laughs> no great yeah, no great They'll kill me. The other day, actually, can you imagine him seeing it? Me forcing him to see it with my six foot three. You would like tell body. all the Harrys to like attack you I'd and be like, kill you. Get out of my way! I stand. I'd literally knock one of them down. Stand on their back so Harry has, has to look at my shirt. 
And I'd be like, I know what you did last He's summer. He's gonna call his like security on you. And that's okay. Or Juju. <laughs> no, she was. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, I was gonna say something. Harry, wait, go. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, that was our small business of the week. Okay, so I have some. I have two fun little stories. Well, I have one big fat juicy story. <clears throat> okay. But I actually have one scary thing that happened like two days ago. Okay. Okay. Did you see what happened with Frankie Jonas? Mm, I don't know. The Scientology like chain. He's in Scientology. I don't know. Okay, so this video, he posted this video on his account and then deleted it. But everyone like had already saved it because they were like, "What is going on?" So I guess Frankie Grande, Frankie Grande, Frankie Jonas. Wrong Did Frankie. I say Frankie Grande? Are all Frankies like not okay? Frankie Jonas. All the Frankies. All the Frank. And never met a Frankie that was okay. Right. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. Um. Anyway, so they get. I guess he was at a party. I want to turn down the volume. And it says, wear, wear my Scientology chain and pose. So it's a, a chain with, like, the Scientology logo. Oh, my God. Me almost dropping it. And then, like, you, I w- didn't recognize anyone except, like, one person. But So he, like, basically asked a bunch of TikTokers to pose with it. Also, they're all dumb. They all said yes. That's embarrassing. And it's, like, Charlie D'Amelio, Noah Beck, Lil Huddy. That's the only three, you know. Do, do you think they knew what it was? No, but also, you, you, can, are you really that stupid? Like, they were asking for it. I'm so sorry. But if someone was like, hey, take a picture with my chain, I'd be like, what is it? Yeah. Because it could be like a Because honestly, symbol. I've never seen that sign. I didn't. Or maybe I have, but I don't remember. But I wouldn't I, know what it was. I used to live in LA, so that's why I know. <laughs> so you them. They had those everywhere. Yeah. Everyone in LA is a Scientologist. Not all. Maybe well, no. like. Well, not me. All them. I'm too scared of them. Rich white people. Actually, let's not talk about, about Scientology. They'll li- actually kill us. Yeah, uh, we're asking for them. Yeah, we are. Anyways. Frankie Jonas really scares me. Yeah. And, like, first of all, like, to all these dumb little TikTokers, like, you're, like, they're just dumb. Like, they were literally asking for it. I'm so sorry. Like, if you really took a picture with a random thing that you didn't know what it was. Wait, like, so are people trying to cancel them or what? They're mad at him. Oh. Okay. I think. I don't know who they're also, mad at. Also, a lot of them were kids. So, like, he's taking advantage of Frankie kids. Frankie Jonas is disgusting. Yeah. I, yeah. That's why you're not in the band. Because you're weird. Not even your brothers want to be with you. <laughs> he was also a kid when they started that. Like, yeah, that's true. Baby. They probably already not knew, though. Yeah. They got the signs. There was like, this one's going to be not okay. Mm. Like, he's like the fourth least Jonas. And Kevin's there. And no one likes Kevin. No. That's right. embarrassing. Gracia, we're out of control. Sometimes I, f- sometimes I feel like I'm Kevin. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> do you ever feel like that? No, I feel like I'm Nick. No, oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel wish. Like no, I do feel like... Honestly, I feel like I'm Frankie. <laughs> the annoying one looking for like attention on social media. Like I'm literally Frankie. Yes. Yeah, me too then. I I'm wish I was Joe. Nick is like a little too buff. I don't want to be that buff. Like I feel like it would look scary. Mm-hmm. I would look like a h- huge gorilla. If I was that buff. So I feel like Nick or Joe is like, um, is he like, kind of like, like lean? Oh, okay. Is he kind of like what? Nothing. No, I wanted really want to. No, know. I'm not saying it. Please say it. Twinkie like. Oh. No. Almost Twinkie. Twunk? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's, they're also like, all of them are short kings. They are short kings. Sorry. No, it's either okay. you get the looks or you get the beauty. Wait, or you get the <laughs> tallness. So what but some saying? people have both, which is me. Yeah. Thank you so definitely much. Definitely you. Okay, thank you. Um, anyways, so that was just really scary. Frankie Jonas scares me. Yeah, he scares me too. And also Grande, Frankie Grande. <laughs> yeah, he scares Never the fuck out of me. Non scary Frankie. Okay. Do you have any stories by the way? Before yeah, you? I'll tell my my story from today. Okay, the tell your story. Day. So I was at the dentist, I was helping out a girly of mine who i went to community college with she has, she's going to another college now but like she's in the dentures dentristy wait is there a word dentistry for that? yeah is that a word i don't know maybe not she's going to dental school yeah she's going to dental school and like any each semester they're supposed to like perform like cleanings and like cavity checks and like Stuff like that on people, so yeah. they're always like constantly asking for volunteers. And this time I and decided. Grace loves to volunteer. Honestly, I wasn't. You just like free things. E- both of those two. Okay, but great. at the same time, I wasn't volunteering at first because she's been asking for like the whole year. Because I felt like there was other people 
in more need of a cleaning them oh my but not in a bad way like there's people that like, don't have like oh, insurance okay, insurance yeah, yeah. so i was like i shouldn't <laughs> I was, like, and oh also God. i didn't want to look stingy just because like it's free i'm gonna get it and like i'm not super close with her mm. so that's why i hadn't accepted but anyways i accepted it i was like she's still asking for it and i'm gonna leave soon so i was like i'll get two things done and i also need to go to the dentist for cleaning so mm. i was like three things done and so i went last week and i went oh, fine i got some like screenings and like they took pictures x-rays of my teeth and this week i went for a cleaning but when i when i went in and checked in i was just like waiting and i felt like a baddie because like my outfit looks good yeah. and like i don't know my makeup was like fine and on fleek and everything <laughs> and i was just like waiting and then i heard someone talking i was like oh this one's kind of familiar no. they call his name and i look up Did he see you? and i'm pretty sure he saw me and like i was like fudge <laughs> Also, he's so I know he's a short king. Okay. And by short king, I mean like he's like five two. You look really tall today. I don't know if it's because of the. I think it's those you're my five inch docks. They're literally like they probably just give me two more inches. Uh, that that's one a or lot. two. Yeah, but yeah, he's five two. That's super short. Five two. Yeah, he looks little, like little, <laughs> like that's short. How tall is I think she's five three. Oh my god! Like he's little. So he's a figure. And he's buff too. So he like people that are short. And buff, they look even shorter. Yeah. So he looks short. I mean, I don't care. Like, no, no hey, we love a short king. Yeah, we do. But yeah, and he's Make also like up. 45 or something. <laughs> and he's also obsessed with me. Mm. And also, I've like hanged out with him before. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like, I was like trying to like look for the girly to like come fetch You're me. Like, oh my god. I was look like, at this oh, wall. yeah, it's because there was like some stairs. I was like looking up to like. To like look for the girly mm -hmm. to like pretend I was like oh yeah I'm not so and also busy. like I don't like ignoring people by looking at my phone that's like not the thing it's I do. not because it's so obvious so sometimes I just look around or I just like look and then like Dissimular. I no I just look to see if I they're gonna say hi to me and oh. if they don't I'm like okay well I was trying to be the better person you know but okay. that time I was just looking because I didn't anticipate him like passing me but he passed me he didn't say hi so I was fine how much do you want to bet he's gonna text you today I'm scared. I hope not. I feel it. I That's what people not. love to do. People love to like text later and be like, oh my God, I saw you today. I'm like, okay, well, why didn't he say hi? Me at Fashion Valley that one time. But honestly, I wasn't trying to ignore him. I was actually trying to look for the girly and then I was going to say hi or something. Mm -hmm. And there was like a spot next to me open and he like low-key doesn't give a shit about anything. So I really thought he was going to sit next to me and talk to me. Well, yeah, when you're five two, I feel like you don't have to, you have to not care. Yeah. He's just, he's really scary. I want to like say like scary things that he Can told me. Please? So he told me that he's like, <laughs> once he's been to TJ and stuff, <laughs> and he was hanging out with like a scary friend with him from the army, and like they went to his house, and then he was like, "Oh, you want some coke?" And he was like, "Yeah," and then they shot some lines, and then he is took that what you call it? Shot some lines? Snorted some lines? I don't know. Wait, maybe sniffed, sniffed yeah. some lines. So yeah, they sniffed some Popped lines, some and lines. then he did two, and then the third one, he's like, "Oh, that one feels a little funny." He was, he asked his friend what it was. And I think he said, like, heroin or something. Grace, yeah. <laughs> okay, period. And then? And then he was also super drunk. And then he got lost. In oh, and he was, yeah, he got lost. And he was drunk. But he somehow, like, still made it to, like, the border drunk. And he, like, forgot everything else. But why are we, why do we attract the scariest I people? I don't know. But also. Uh-oh. Also, he before like li forgetting everything, he like fought up some men. Oh, fine. D is this true? Yeah, I I believe it. He's like, he's shown me things, like so what? I believe him. What are the things he's shown you? <laughs> no, well, he showed me like the bloody nose and like <laughs> his like all the like bruises he had from that night. What else has he shown you that scared you? Uh. <laughs> I don't know, just everything about him. Also, he was like in Ar Iraq. He fought in Iraq war. Iraq? Oh, I, Iraq. oh my God. I, Iraq. I literally thought you were saying that he fell on a rock. <laughs> oh, no, I couldn't he pronounce it. For, Iraq, I couldn't Iraq. pronounce the it war? for some reason. Yeah, he fought in the Iraq war. <laughs> so he's also like... A veteran. Yeah. You're doing your, you're doing your American duty. Yeah, but he's nice. I like him. He's like entertaining. I mean, like when you're talking you. to him, you feel like you're talking to like a character. Like it doesn't I seem real. I love that, Gracie. Yeah, those are my favorite people. Like to hang his, out with. like even the voice and like the way he acts. Yeah, it's like a cartoon character. And like the way he wanted like treat me to everything. He's like, yeah, like he like treat him. You like also a, love free things. 
I do. Mm -hmm. So free things and a free no. show? That's yeah. No, but I also love when you're like, no, I don't want anything, and they're like, okay, she'll get this and this. I don't know. You like when they tell you what to order? Loki, yeah. If I did that, you would kill me. Oh no! Actually, no, you would like it. I would really like it, and I love when people do that to me, or when. Do you just say you don't want it and they still, like, pressure you? Oh, I always do that. Whenever Gracie's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, oh, my God. But I do it out of, like, anno like I'm annoyed at you. Oh, oh no, I like Because you wanted it. it, like, 20 minutes ago and then now you don't. <laughs> like, you're eating it. Like, I don't care. Yeah. That's, but I'm not doing, I'm doing it because I'm annoyed mm -hmm. and I'm like, you're going to eat it. Yeah. Because we're here. So I, I think you there. popped off, yeah. Yeah, I did. But also, something I also love about people is oh. when you, like, tell them that you're vegetarian and they actually remember. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Cause there's like Grace, people yeah. that forget and they're like oh yeah you want some steak and i'm like my dad. i'm vegetarian literally my dad like i hate that and people that like actually try to like eat vegetarian things with yeah. me and stuff like it gives you a whop loki yeah yeah same so, i'm yeah. like oh my god you because my but it literally like two days ago my i was like eating my dad's like oh like do you want chicken it's been three years yeah why would i want chicken uh -huh. and like every day it's like every single day i so, find like, that offensive for some reason i do get offended yeah not because like we're annoying vegetarians because we are but like it just like i'm like really like why would i right uh -huh. now be like you know what i will have some chicken yeah i'll just shit years. myself right <laughs> now <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'll just feel like i'm getting stabbed in my poor little tummy uh -huh. for 30 minutes no if you eat chicken oh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be like awake honey yeah you'll get your peaches all the way down to jordan yeah and then what was i gonna say oh, no but yeah when like when someone's like oh where do you want to go eat and they're like oh because like do they have vegetarian stuff i'm like yeah, you're like Hello? like waffle art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I love that. <laughs> oh I don't God. know. I don't know why I went on a tangent by yeah, him, but either. whatever. And then when I was like getting the cleaning, he was like three seats like away from me, mm -hmm. so I was like uncomfortable the whole time. And I was like, I hope like the girl like, gets done ready so I can just like sprint out of there. Yeah. And she did, so I just like ran and I had to pee. Was he also getting his? Yeah, and I was like, why is he there? He's like. I mean, he has 45. Like, who did he know there to get it for cleaning? Not in a bad way, but, like... Oh, it's not an actual dentistry? Like, it's, like, they're all students? Yeah. Oh, I got a haircut from a student once, like, a haircut. Oh, those did never go well. I didn't think it was that bad, but also oh. I'm used to great clips, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. For the cleaning, the the girly, my friend, she, she did really good. Did she hurt I your poor her. little gums or no? Mm, I have sensitive gums, so... She did, but it wasn't her fault. I, I, yeah, they always, like, destroy my gums. I'm, yeah. like, bleeding. Yeah, I was bleeding a lot. But, I don't know, that was my story. story you said period, that was a really good story, Gracie. Yeah. If you so guys want to know. it was more his story than yours, but. Yeah, if, it, if people want to know more scary, like, dates I've been on, like, just comment down below. Oh, I, oh, my God, we should do, an, well, we kind of already did a dating one. But, like, later on, we'll do, like, a, more, like a scariest dates, dates we've been on. I'll go on, like, I sometimes I, like, when I tell someone scary, I don't go. But I feel like I'm going to start going mm -hmm. on them just for the podcast. Oh, okay. I'll do it for you guys, for the best. I love that. Yeah. You're so nice. Gracie does it for herself <laughs> and for fear. No, sometimes I do it because I also want to tell people. Yeah. So it's because people love my scary the dating ones stories. I, the ones I go on where if they're scary, it's not on purpose. I'm there and I'm like, oh my God, you're not okay. No, sometimes I feel it. I, initially, I always feel it, Gracie, that they're scary. Always, and I literally go, be like, oh, there's this really scary guy. I'm going to see him on Thursday. I'm like. I don't know. I should honestly be careful. Yeah. But if you ended up on Dateline, mm. they would pop off. I would look so good in the interviews. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> okay, anyway, so my scary little story, it also involves the Iraq war. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Something got so scared. <laughs> yeah, you were like, what? <laughs> okay, well, kind of. I was in a war, kind of. Anyways, so <laughs> this last weekend, I don't even know when it was. Today's Tuesday. It was Thursday. Mm -hmm. I went to my first, like, small concert so i've only been to two con like actual concerts charlie puth in a in a like a tw yeah trigger warning charlie puth in a like um like an amphitheater and then the jonas brothers in an arena mm -hmm. so i've only been very comfortable in the so and like charlie puth it was like we got a table like it was like we were, were living the life yeah. yeah and then in the jonas brothers we had seats on the floor so like i was super close and we were still like comfortable like it was great like i was we were popping off mm -hmm. but then this like recently like last week um one of my favorite artists dominic fike posted this like mysterious message and he was like pop-up show in la on thursday or something and like the, i think like the wallows and omar paulo had also done like pop-up shows but we couldn't go to either of those so i was like no but i'm going to dominic fike's show because i always say i have like three favorite dominics 
And I feel like he's up on the top right now. You have three favorite Dominics? Yeah, Dominic Fike. I don't know who that is. The artist that I'm literally <laughs> thinking about. Um, Dominic Harrison, Youngblood. Oh, yeah. And then Dom, my roommate Dom. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, it really, like, the, the, the thing changes. Like, the uh-huh. list. Like, they, like, swap. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's Dominic Fike is at the top. Okay. Did you hear something outside? That was my shoe. Oh, anyways. <laughs> I'm crazy. Um... So he was like gonna have a little pop up show in LA. So I was like, oh my god, we're going because I've never seen him in concert, and like I feel like it's just gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. So I get the tickets. Um, the show sells out like before like he even posts about it, and like because he, I had to like do some undercover. Like I had to go on the website of the venue and find it there. Like I was ready to go. So I got the tickets, and I was like, they were two limit to two. So I was like, I'll go with Karina because Karina is also a fight nader. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, okay, we're gonna go, and then Marlies is gonna come too because it's like, LA. You know, yeah. just a little L.A. day. And so um, we go to L.A., whatever. We go to Amoeba. We go to Monty's. By the way, Monty's is like open to eat inside now. And they have like fun little setup. Like I had never been inside. The workers are still scary. Yeah. If anything, they got scary. It's always chaotic there. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. I always feel like they want to kill me. I think they did because when we sat in the room, they put the music louder. <laughs> <laughs> so also I wasn't there. Oh, yeah. So Gracie's not there. But it's okay because now I can tell you the story and you can yeah. react to it live. Okay. And I have uh, like videos and like pictures. I love so that. like, okay. So then whatever at like six p.m. the concert started at what well, we thought. The thing said doors open at eight, so I was like, oh, the concert's gonna start at nine, because I'm a baby and I had never been to anything like this before. So I'm like, we'll go like two hours before. So at six we get in the line. It's already like halfway down the like sunset. But oh, it was at the Roxy. So. If, if you know, if you've ever been to anything there, you'll know how, where the story's going to go. But if not, like, a uh, story time. And so we were we wait in line and we're there for, like, two hours mm-hmm. until they start opening the doors. But the wait wasn't that bad. And then we start going inside and we were, like, trying to get the vibe of the fans because we didn't know what to expect. We were, like, actually scared. Like, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack because mm-hmm. I didn't know the vibe of the fans. Like, Charlie Puth concert, moms. A bunch of moms. I love that. The Jonas Brothers was, like... Um, like 20 year old women and then like moms dragging their kids okay very weird and then this dominic fight concert i was like oh my god it's gonna be all scary straight men but it actually wasn't it was a lot of like girlies who look like they could be harry styles fans Mm -hmm. and then yes there were scary straight men and Mm -hmm. they they'll come back to the story Mm -hmm. and then also like like People like vintage people who shop at vintage flea markets those are kind of scary they were scary but i was having a lot of fun Okay, that's good. I almost wore this outfit. That's how I had it ready to go because I was like, this was what I was going to wear, but I was like, I thought it was too much, but it was not too much. No. But I ended up wearing something else, which thank God I wore that other one because I would have been sweating in this. But anyway, so we get inside and I literally like go into the thing and it's a room. Like it's literally a room. It's the the stage is right there and people like are just around it. And I was like, okay. So was it I, little? It's like, Gracia, I want to say the size of... Like, if including my garage, the size of this. Like, so from that side of the garage to the door of my backyard. Wow. Yeah. Maybe smaller. That's really scary. And that's, like, that size, but including the stage and including the bar and including, like, the little VIP area. That's really small. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, my God, what's going on? There's a little mirror ball. So, like, and I was getting dizzy because, like, the mirror ball was, was like, there was a light on it. So I was going like this, and I was like, Ooh. Were you spinning on your highest? I was spinning highest. on my highest heels, love. Yes. Shining uh-huh. just for you. And so, so uh-huh. and I get a pretty good spot. Like, we're, like, super close. And I was like, okay, what now? And Kenny's like, well, we have to wait for the show to start. And it was, like, 8 p.m. And then I saw a little paper on the door, and it said, like, the opener at 9, and then Dominic Fike at 10. And I was like, Kenny, now that says the show starts at 10. And I thought the show ended at 10.30. <laughs> I was so wrong. And so, I'm whatever. I'm glad I didn't know. We're just standing there. No, yeah, Mar- I'll tell you what Marlies was doing the entire time. So, Oh, and also they had a little window with merch. It was cash only. That's so mean. And I never have cash. It's okay. It was so ugly. Oh, okay. No, like truly one of the ugliest merch. So you saved money. I mean, yeah, because I would have bought it. I feel like you would. Just because, you know, you're there. You I might texted Marlies. I was like, how far are you? Can you bring me cash? Mm-hmm. So like, you know, so yeah. I'm glad I didn't get it because it's really ugly. Yeah. But anyways, so whatever. I'm standing there and I was like observing the vibes of the people. So right in front of us is this couple. This like straight man with his girlfriend. Touching each other the entire hmm. time, and then to my left. Are Honestly, if you guys want to touch each other, just stay home. 
you know, mm-hmm. to listen well, to. Well, we were all dominate. touching each other by, whoa, that sounded so scary. But like, we were, yeah. like, whatever, I'll get to it. And then to my left, there was like a group of five gay men. We love that. That all had Dominic Fike as their screensaver. <gasps> Like, as a, they all had different pictures of Dominic Fike as I their screensaver. They, they did pop off. They were all similar heights. I called, I called, um, I told Kenny they were gay direction. That's the vibe oh, they were giving. Oh, okay. Like, one direction, but gay. Oh, okay. Like, twinks. So, I was like, just observing the vibe. I was like, okay, what's going on? Because I wanted to, like, uh, I love people watching. And I was like, well, yeah, I have nothing know. else to do. So, that's what I want to do. And I didn't want my phone to die because I wanted to film the concert and, like, take mm-hmm. pictures and stuff. So, I was just listening and I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then, at 9 p.m., the opener comes out. Someone I'd never heard of, and like no one else. Like I guess like one person knew his songs. It was like 20 minutes, and we we're like woohoo! And I was like, oh, that wasn't that bad. And Karina's like, no, amigo, that was the opener. Just wait till Dominic Fight comes out. And I was like, okay, like I don't think it's gonna be that bad, but like we're fine. Uh-huh. And then um, I was reading my scary notes because I was taking notes, so I could. You remember. were taking notes during the yeah. concert. Yeah, Gracie, I wanted to remember because I knew I was gonna forget, and so. Um, whatever. He comes out. He's so tiny. But, like, I feel like... What, like, my high or shorter? Probably your height, but it's because he's, like, he's literally, like, a twig. Oh. Here, let me show you a picture. So now you're fat shaming. <laughs> no, I'm, like... Um, no, I get it. Like, when they're, like, skinny, they look even smaller. Yeah. Like, the girl is from Riverdale when we met them. Like, they're, like, my... Probably, like, an inch shorter, but they look little. We could have kicked them. Yeah. And they would have, like, died, maybe. <laughs> Daniel. Okay, look... I don't know if he looks that little in this picture. No, he doesn't. He's little. I pr- he's little. But it's also because I'm big. I'm yeah. literally Shrek. You're a big bitch. I'm Shrek. So, like, imagine Shrek standing next to, like... You're high grade. Ah, that one's cuter. Yeah. Well... Because you don't relate really like to Shrek. I'm sorry. I don't. You're not really. in the Shrek train. I'm not in the Shrek community. Yeah. Um, anyways. I'm literally cosplaying as Shrek. But, like, colorful. <laughs> yeah, you are. Like, the white shirt. He's like, a period, Gracie. Aw, that's so Shrek cute. Um, so, anyways, the concert starts. As soon as he comes out, everyone pushes to the front. And I was like, I think I'm going to die here. <laughs> like, that's when I knew that my life was, like, going to end today. At least you're big. Gracie, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, he starts singing. He's like, how y'all doing today? <laughs> As they do. You sound like Sucker. we're like, like woo. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how he sounds, by the way. Like that. Like that. Okay. So, we're like, woo. And then, um, oh, and by the way, at this point, like, the whole thing was filled up. So, we're, like, right in the middle, like, a little bit closer to the front. So, okay. like, the, and the only people in front of me are just, like, shorties. So, it's, like, what I told Karina, I was, like, and he's going to see, like, if Gru was standing with a bunch of minions, that's what it's going to look like to him. Because all true. the people around me were, like, short. Yeah. So, I was, like, I'm going to stick out like this. That's good. It was good. We made so much eye contact. I took pictures, like, where he's, like, staring at my camera. And, like, I think he was, like, sending me signals. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think he was. Yeah, I agree, actually. Okay, so then... He, whatever he starts singing and whatever it was fun and then it started getting really hot and i was like i'm sweating i'm literally starting to drip sweat <laughs> and i was like let me look around oh, everyone else is sweating so like whatever and then it started getting disgusting because he started dripping was sweat. it like musty inside? grace yeah the air was thick uh-huh. the air was like oatmeal like hot and like disgusting uh-huh. like locker room but 10 times worse like humid yeah but that's just the night was just getting started <laughs> so then like some of his songs are like super upbeat like a kind of rap song it's because he has like more singing songs than he has like rap songs mm-hmm. so like one of the rap songs started playing and like there was a group of straight men remember the straight men mm-hmm. they were right behind us oh. right behind me and Karina that makes me and uncomfy. they decided they were gonna stir the pot no and stop they stop started stop. shoving like they literally started a mosh pit they and I was off. like, oh, my God. I, I, I would have like joined. I was screaming. You should like, have joined. <laughs> I, crazy, I, I, had, I did join, but not because I wanted to. <laughs> I was right in the middle and not by choice. I have never been in a mosh pit before. That was one of the scariest things in my whole life. Like, they literally, like, you just have to, like, balance. It's horrible. Why do people like doing that? I've only been to one. And How, it was scary. Think? Um, it was, first of was all. Was it outside or inside? Outside. Oh, I wish it was outside. It was in the the vans. Wait, what's it called? Oh my god! Oh, Wait, why can't I think of the name? The vans. Um. Oh, oh my, my god! The, the the film. The I mean the music festival. Yeah, the really scary one. I know exactly what you're talking about. I can't about. think of the name. The vans Coachella. Yeah, the vans Coachella. Let's just call it that because I don't remember. It's scary, full of like scary men, oh and they're what? like, okay, they don't. They like literally hit each other. Like they make. Yeah. Each, like, they make each other bleed there. Yeah. But it's more scary in the other one, the Vans one, because it's like 
They're like scary alternative, like emo. Warped tour. Warped tour. And they're like 30, like 40 years. Young Blood has performed at, at Warped Tour. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, so like, so you know the vibe. Like, you feel like yeah. you're going to die. Like, you can't even. I don't know. Like The first time I saw it, I started laughing a lot. <laughs> well, I, I was laughing because I could not believe. Scary? it scary? It's like the thing with us is that we like the fear. Yeah. We like being in near death situations. So I was like laughing because I was like, I can't wait to tell the story. Yeah, it's because it seems surreal. Yeah, you're like, I can't believe this is real. Yeah. Like, your body's just being. Mo- and, okay, but then it got worse <laughs> because they kept doing this. And I was like, oh my God. And <laughs> there was a point that Karina literally told me when we were in the car and I, she like said that she was la- about, like, she was about to pee herself. <laughs> she was laughing. That, like, <laughs> so, like, everyone was so tightly packed that, like, I knew that, like, if I fainted, my <laughs> body would still be standing up. So I just like, like you know Marlise on um the the Tower of Terror yeah she let go I literally let go like I like just like let my body go limp oh, that's and they were Ka- like pushing that's me that's why Karina said you were swinging around yeah. or something I was literally like this like this like I was just letting them because like I could I like gave up I was like if I keep resisting like <laughs> I will die and so I was like I'm just gonna like be a part of them and yeah. I felt like I was like part of the universe oh wow you were just flowing with the energy yeah I was flowing with wow. the, I was just letting all the shorties like throw my fat body wait, around wait did you have your euphoria moment yeah he's gonna be in the new season of euphoria oh so I think so I you did. did I might be in it oh okay I'm gonna be like yeah. heroin addict number three <laughs> just <laughs> kidding um so like whatever my fat body was swinging around like this and then Karina was like, behind me she was laughing so hard she was about to be, like, she had to cross her legs because she was about to poor little Karina. and then I was like I don't think like it came like 30 minutes into the concert and I was like I don't want to be here anymore mm-hmm. but I had such a good spot that I was like I'm just going to suffer through it like you suffered this long like you're just going to push through it you've suffered through worse things oh yeah 100% so I was like if I can watch like Jungle Cruise like I can survive this <laughs> And I so, barely survived that. <laughs> yeah, and so whatever. I was just letting like the the um, the mosh pit like um, like fling my body around, which was like honestly so fun. Um, but by okay, I was wearing like something like this, basically like like pants with like a button down that was open and like a short sleeve. My arm, Gracia, was slimy mm, from other people's I sweat. Hate that like sticky. Like no, Gracia, like slippery. Like it was yeah. super like like soaked like covered in sweat me after working out in my room <laughs> yeah same vibe and so i was like felt so disgusted and like he would like grab like a towel or something wipe a sweat it and throw it and they would go running for it and like when after the show i told Karina, i was like that's disgusting i was literally ducking so that it wouldn't touch i would have gone it just because it's really that's cool. what Karina said she's like daniel next time grab it and give it to me she could like sell it like small business what i was telling it. one of them was that, that things that he threw was like a jacket <laughs> and marley i was saying that because marley's on the way back like took a nap so I was like, I could have given it to Marlies to like sleep with. It would have been warm and everything. That's so sweet. I know, but I didn't get it. Yeah. And he was throwing like guitar picks and stuff, which is like scary. I hate when artists do that because then it's like they're asking for like war. Like yeah. I feel like they like it. Like it gives them power to see people yeah. fight over it. No, also like when he like threw himself out of the. Oh, that was my next part. Okay, okay. so I have a video. That Jake, send so it to you yet? You, s- I saw it. I don't know how. You probably sent it. I sent the the other angle, but I, I'm gonna send you show you my um. My angle. Oh, yeah. It was from, like, Twitter, what you sent. Yeah. That's not that one. He said I dressed in your face. You're, like, really dressing. I don't know if that's normal. I think because we're hungry. I'm none of the videos loading. Okay, so basically what happened was he was he kept coming to our section. Probably because he wanted, like, he was like, oh, look at that hot guy. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there all, a lot of guys near your section, too? Yeah, so they were all, all those guys were right behind me. So, like, they. Look, see, all the short people were in front of me. Yeah. Like, that's literally my POV. Like, it was just a bunch of little heads. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And so... Oh, it's this one. It's this one. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, he comes to our section, and I finally figured out what was happening. Mm-hmm. So, there was a girl who I saw earlier. She had a jean jacket, and on the back, she had painted his, his eyes, like, um, from one of the album covers. Yeah. And on the back of the jacket, and so they wanted him to sign it. Oh. And that's what's happening here. He's trying to get across to... Um, that's why he threw himself? I think, I think. That's really scary. So, oh he could have just gone down like a normal person. I'm the stupid video not loading. But he's probably like 120 pounds, so that's fine. <laughs> Literally. I was like, I feel like I could carry him. Yeah. Like, if he wanted to crowd surf, I'm this not letting. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to describe to the people, but I'll post it on my Instagram. Okay. He's like right in front of us. Oh, 
He keeps going back and forth. The stage is tiny. By the way, see that, see that fog? Yeah. That's literally just how musty it was. Was that a f- fog machine? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but I could have not. It was like a mixture, actually. Oh, my God. Why is it not loading? I literally hate my phone. I li- okay, you could literally see me, like, my phone dying. Like, going like this. I'm so stupid for not hiding the ones that it was. Did I pop down? Yeah. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to show you. Whatever. I'll post those all on the Instagram, the hashtag TV Instagram. I'm going to show you the picture of me after. Oh, also, my Apple Watch protector thing. Like, the little thing. Gone. I don't... Like, it literally ripped off and crunched on the floor. <laughs> okay, here's a picture of me after. What do you think of that? Your hair looks really wet. It's soaked. That's sweat. And maybe not even all and mine. And, like, you look like... Yeah. Like, you're melting off. I don't know, like... This is getting there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you guys, like... Oh, my God. Sorry, I got distracted with sharking. Um it's baby. That you guys went through war. We did, we did go through war, crazy. That's why it's the Iraq war. Like, yeah. same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, so whatever. The concert ends, and then I see this little short blonde kid with, like, a bob. <laughs> like, giving, like, like, kind of Sarah Paulson vibes. And I'm like, who is that walking down? It was the kid Leroy. He wasn't, so it wasn't Sarah Paulson? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't Sarah ah. Paulson. <laughs> How disappointing. I know. Imagine thinking it's Sarah Paulson, but it's actually the kid Leroy. <laughs> so, like, he was, like, ducking, like, hiding. Because it's, like, the same demographic, I think. So I filmed the video for my brother. He's so little, Grace, yeah. Like, he's so tiny. But also, everyone's tiny to me. Okay, wait. Like Marley's tiny, or like how? Yeah, like Marley's tiny. Do you see his little blonde head? No. I thought it was like... <laughs> <laughs> Does he look so little? <laughs> Doesn't that look like Sarah Paulson? Yeah. <laughs> In cults. And then, and then, um... So oh, like... Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, Karen. So we were like leaving, and then Karina looks up at the section, and Dominic Fike is dating the girl who was the main character in Ma. Uh huh. So Karina goes, Don't make me drink alone hey. to her face. <gasps> That's iconic. I don't know if the girl heard, but like, I wish, know? I hope she did. I hope she did. Too. I hope she like talked don't about it. Don't make me drink alone. Don't <laughs> make me drink alone. Anyways, we got out, and then we picked up Marlies, and then we drove home, and on the way home, I was literally hall- hallucinating. And I didn't say anything because I didn't want to scare them and think we were going to crash. But, like, I saw the Grim Reaper, <laughs> like, slash through a cloud. Yeah, I know. That's right. And then I, I saw, like, there's one part in the freeway where I saw a bunch of cats running through the street. And when I see Smurfs, you, you judge me, right? No, but now I get it. I think you just need some more sleep. I don't think so. I, I sleep. No, like I was hour. sleep deprived. So that was mine. I don't know what your excuse is for seeing Smurfs in the shower. No, I have reasons. Anyways. That's a fun concert experience. Um, I don't. Karina at the end was like trying to fight me that I liked it. Like she was trying to convince me that I liked it. And after like looking back, I did not like it. Mm-hmm. But I would do it again. Okay. Like it's not like if you're gonna give me the three options, like booth or whatever at a concert, uh, like assigned seat at a concert or like general admission, I'm gonna pick assigned seat or booth because those are just much more fun. Like uh, there was a point where I was like, I wish I was dead. <laughs> and like towards the end he was like one more song guys and i was like please no <laughs> because i literally wanted the answer to end he would say like one more song and i literally started crying like i literally was like i want i this couldn't imagine that happening yeah <laughs> like i was like please let this concert be over because uh, i'm not okay your right baby. Now. yeah and then so but like i would do it again and i have to do it again because the omar polo concert is next month but then the Phoebe Bridges concert is assigned seats so at like, least you have time to recover the marlise is gonna be in that one and i'm scared i feel like she's gonna get trampled like jumanji tell her to wear the dogs no, not the only dogs, one. but like spikes. Like if she needs <laughs> armor. I mean, I know she's done. Like she's been in a mosh pit at the Wallows concert. The the Wallows, they're all like twinks. But like, why did they and like mosh at the Wallows? They mash everywhere, honey. They probably mash at the Taylor Swift concert. <gasps> I would do that yeah. for Taylor. Like if they made me, like I'd be like me. <laughs> Imagine to that song. Okay, so that seems so fun. <laughs> or to like Willow or something. Yeah, I, I, so no, so I feel cute. like it's a reputation song. Like, are you? No, I feel it? like it's a song that no one would expect. It. My tears were ricochet. Like yeah. just getting beat up. <laughs> yeah. But to the beat of the song. <laughs> no, did you say? Oh, that's a different song. Yeah. Anyways, you try. Yeah. So hopefully we got another smash. But I'm just kidding. Next time I told Karina, I was like at. I think there was a point where I should have left mm-hmm. and gone to the bar. or Because, like, I could go in the VIP section because I got a 21 plus wristband. So I could go up there. Mm-hmm. So you I should have been with the kid Leroy and the girl from Ma. Well, you were with Karina. You couldn't leave her alone. Honestly. No, she said she she literally said she was fine. Like, she was literally like, 
more okay than I was. Yeah. She's always okay, though. She was ready for war. Yeah. And I was not. Like, I was saving Private Ryan. And mm -hmm. I was Private Ryan. Ah. Like, I needed to be rescued. Anyways, That's guys. Awful. So, what did you learn from your concert? I learned that... You need spikes next time? Well, I learned that um, small... Not small. Like, I learned that twinks can fight. Mm -hmm. I learned that their little bony elbows hurt that when they, they do, go in your they in do. your um core. Even if you elbow them and they're yeah. like their ribs, they're like really skinny. That hurts. Too. I learned that people with curly hair shed a lot. Oh yeah, the girl in front of me had curly hair. You should have known me. by me, honey. Yeah, but like for some reason, like I don't know what I expected. Oh. Also, Karina said that on her back the entire time there was either a zipper or a boner. Oh, I'm hoping zipper. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like I also had, like, my wallet in my pocket. So I feel like people thought that, like, that. Oh, oh, my God. Someone peed on us. No, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> you're to kidding. end the podcast <laughs> at some point through, through the thing, Karina's like, it smells like pee. Like, she was, like, screaming it to me. And I it took a sniff. It literally smelled like someone peed. Like man piss? I couldn't tell. I was like, I, either someone took out their thing and literally peed on me. And, like, I was, like, dripping wet, like, with sweat. So, I was, like, I think someone. And, like, for a split second, I was, like, did I pee? <laughs> like, I couldn't tell. But, like, I think disgusting. someone from the mosh, like, just got so scared that, like, they pissed themselves. So, it wasn't you, too? No, I checked after. Okay. It was fine. It wasn't me. That's disgusting. I thought it was going to look like, I literally, because I was wearing, like, light jeans. I thought it was going to look like Jesse McCartney in that one video. <laughs> the buzzy one? <laughs> yeah, the one where he's dripping. Okay. So, Daniel swallowed. learned not to wear, like, light pants. No, I, it, I wasn't, like, there was no sweat stains or anything. Can you believe? Why would you wear that, though? I didn't know. No, next time I will be wearing, yeah. br like, black jeans with a black t-shirt so yeah. that you cannot see my sweat. Mm -hmm. Maybe a sweat, maybe a black tank top. Because mm -hmm. I was going to wear shorts, but he's like, you really want people's sweat on your legs? And I was like, yes, it's, it, I don't know, but, like, sweat on your legs feels worse than on your arms. It does, yeah. Anyways. <gasps> <laughs> Did that bark come from your garage? My I garage? thought it came from upstairs. It could be anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for listening. Um, that's all we have for today. Question of the day. Oh, question of the day. Um, have you ever peed on someone at a concert? I don't think no one has. That's not a universal experience, though. No. Has anyone pissed on you? <laughs> <laughs> I almost threw up right now. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, no. Okay, wait. Um, have you ever been in a mosh pit? Tell us your mosh pit stories. Oh, okay. Do you think the Harry Styles people mosh pit? M I don't think mosh? so, because they need to treat everybody with kindness. They don't, though. But I feel like Harry would be like, stop it right now. But in a British accent. Stop it right now, love. <laughs> Was that good? Yeah. <laughs> you said it, okay. So veggie girl time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. See you next bye. week.